All right, yeah, guys. So welcome back to another episode of Inescapable, bro. So yeah, it's the final day in the on the island, and Harrison, I'm telling you now, bro, bro, you better not fuck it up on the last day, bro. You better not, bro, because because it looked like you're about to rebuild your your friendships. So let's. Let's at least have you leave on good terms, at least. Uh, with them. Really, and he says one last day, last rain, bro. Like, this dude cares way too much about the raids, bro. Like, you should, you should be, you should focus on, build, you should focus on building, on, ref on fixing your friendships. Uh, but hell, maybe you should at least spend more time with your girlfriend, Eva, bro. At least. Anyways, uh, let's do this shit. I'm, I'm not looking forward to it, bruh. Mia, I'm coming for you. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God, bro. She made life a living... No, she did not. She did not make life a living hell, bruh. You're out of your damn mind, bruh. These past few days. Her and Louie both. Oh boy. Like, I miss the old you, bruh. Like, the old you was like way nicer, bruh. And he was a way cooler dude. And he'll be one he'll be one of the smart people in the group, bruh. But this new you that you be having, like I don't like, bruh. Being of the other devil, I hope Lumi sees the truth and comes running to me. If all goes right, she'll change her mind about Mia and vote for me instead. No, bruh. I could I could already tell that this is gonna end in disaster, bruh. If Harrison keeps thinking like that, bruh. Alright, dear viewers, today's the final day. I feel like this change of character feels immensely forced, bruh, as I said before, bruh. Because it feels like he just changed like that, bruh, out of nowhere. That's what I, that's what it feels like to me, bruh. As there's little to no build up to this change of character, bruh. And it all felt forced in the last few weeks of the on the island bro like why fuck up your friendships now bro like I'll tell you this Harrison you can either one reconcile with everyone and just be on good terms with everyone and just at least, at least head out of this shit happy and head up high and be on good terms with everyone. Or you could just worry about your goddamn reins and end up risking on being on bad terms with everyone, bruh. It's your fucking call, bruh. Let's get the show on the road. First thing, after food. <laughs> My plan is as follows. First step, present all the recent troubles. Second step, counter arguments and gather first allies. All I need to do is show the truth to one person, and it's over. Things will start falling like dominoes. Oh, Lord. Final step is to deliver the speech which will secure her spot at the bottom. Uh, no, bro. You know what, that's... It's gonna end up... Is... I... Bro, it's gonna probably end up risking your ass being at the bottom again, bro. Cause remember, you was at the bottom the last time, bro. So you're basically risking yourself being at the bottom again, bro. This time, this time for the final time, bro. 
Like, at least leave with your head up high and... And at least just be on good terms with everyone. By this point, you by this point you're not gonna win, Harrison. Just and I know and I know your ass would not win this time. Will probably not win this time around. But at least try to stay on good terms with everyone, bro. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking you for to win, because that is pretty much not gonna happen. Basically, at least just. Even if I was in a situation where I might not win the competition, I would at least just be on good terms with everyone, bro. That's the least I could do, bro. And I think you should do the same, Harrison. Just at least just be on good terms with everyone. Like by this point, by this point, you have a very slim chance of winning, bro. Very slim. I mean, a very slim chance, bro. As in a did as in the did hair levels of of winning bruh but I don't know about this point bruh like I try to help I try helping you bruh by suggesting to be on good terms with everyone bruh frankly I didn't think who's gonna be at the bottom with her if there was two, if there are two losers bruh you forget that Naomi is is a threat is the main threat in this one bruh like so just vote her and Isaac at the bottom bruh could it be half of the people for I for, for all I care You know what? How it is. At the end of this shit, I'll tell you how they could have wrote him better, bruh. I mean, at the end of the game, bruh. I've got a big announcement to make before I start. For the first three contestants who ally with me, I'll be generous. Once I win, I'll negotiate a spot for them on the Paradise Island. But can't be anyone ugly, and not a guy either. I know you love going for I know you love trying to get get with the girls and I get and I get you and I get you on that one as I love females myself but don't you already have a girlfriend like like at least spend more time with with her at least spend more time with with Eva your girlfriend bro Sorry, fellas, you might be drooling after me, but I'm not like that. Plus, I think some of you guys would love to see some of these ladies again, right? Well then, off we go! Everyone keeps talking about the font ring. You gotta do this now. Ahem, excuse me, I have a toast to make. Mm, you do? Let's hear, let's hear! It's been an arduous, almost six months. We came on the island as strangers and formed an uncanny bond. I raise this glass to our survival. We passed challenges, trivia, and probably dodged a murder game. Yeah, bro. Note that the murder mystery game it's actually optional and inescapable, bro. So yeah. We won, we lost, but we survived. There's some of us who've been in the bottom ranks. But we rose to the occasion stronger. Myself, Valerie, Chica, Lumi, Dan, Giovanni, Isaac, Mia. <laughs> this it's for us and our growth. Don't think some people here deserve the toast, but I'll let it slide. Well, I can't agree with you more. Army is excited to go back to Sweden, but hopes to see everyone again. Army means that some 
point, maybe you can all visit our needs, Feeden. We formed some strong friendships here. That's what a competition does to you. I'm more like a frenemies. <laughs> am I right or am I right? NGL, you guys are awesome sauce, but I miss my real friends and my freedom. I'll survive not seeing you for a few months. People will get to sleep now that Giovanni's not around. Oh shit. Picasso, lies, lies. Giovanni is a well of dreams. Yeah, but your big ass snores like a motherfucker, bro. Well of wet dreams for some. <laughs> oh shit. Bandidos. Your pedestrian views of loyalty disgust me. Not as if you knew anything about devotion, mon cher. Some friendships are stronger than you think, Isaac. For real. Blah, blah, blah. Power of friendship. Defeat the villain. No, but the power of money did. I would expect some people in this hall not to understand what friendship means. In fact, I'd say we had quite a few betrayals. But when someone shows their true ugly colors, that's when you can ally against them. Enemy of my enemy, they say. And that's kind of right. The production sure loved the story of a villain. Trust me, they'll jump on any occasion to fabricate a storyline. Everyone signs their rights to be edited. It's like so effing effed up. My advice? Don't let a bitch steal your spotlight. Winky face. Eh, I don't mind sharing the spotlight. I'm here for the competition. Frenemies, push you to your limits. Competitions have rules. This island had only black male. Yeah, for real, like. When Joel and Catalina killed Catalina Ari Perez's lover, Petro, Vitaly came to save her. But everyone thought it was Vitaly that cheated Uncle Tommy and his brother Esteban. Then Francisco almost got away, but it was not Petro that died. It was his twin. So anyway, your point? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but as much as you want to be friendly with several people, there are some bad people on this earth, bruh. From time to time. Hell, there's countless examples of, of bad people out there, bruh. Right when it comes to like, right when it comes to like, right when it comes to like actors or YouTubers or athletes. Hell, even several people throughout history have been horrible, bruh. So, yeah. <clears throat> it's worse when you get backstabbed by people you call friends. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's worse when you get backstabbed of your so-called friends, bruh. Yeah, people who you think is friendly to you, but in reality, they were only using you for their own personal gain, bruh. And when they and when they become useless to you, they either ditch you, they either ditch you or throw you under under the bus. When either when either one or two things will happen, when they see no use of you anymore, or when they are backed against the corner, bruh. So be careful of who you become friends with, y'all guys, so, because... In hindsight, the situation in the last few days got out of control. Alright, as I was saying, be careful of who you become friends with, because you never know if they're gonna, if they're gonna actually be friendly, friendly to you, bro. Like, in order for someone to be your friend, at least, at least let them be, at least let them be cool with you for who you are, bro. Like, if someone's only f friends for something for something that the other person has, that is not a real friend. That's a that's a very toxic friend to have, bro. That's just a person that's just using you. Now, if somebody likes you for who you are, that's a real friend, bro. Huh? 
the last right. few days, more like every fucking cycle did. Blackmail does that to you. Bitch, please. I know a lot of you took that phone in hand with revenge in mind. You gotta jump to the producers for help. Yeah, bro. Some of us did not have a choice. Well, yeah, to be fair. To be fair, some of us had to call the producers for several stuff. Because if not, then we're, we're probably screwed on certain occasions if we did, didn't do it, bro. Like, for example, did you remember that the producers kidnapped Francisca's child, bro? And yeah. And that she had to contact them in order just in order to see her daughter bro like that is just extremely fucked up bro as far as i recall you were not forced to do anything were you shut up isaac like you're the one person that doesn't give a shit about anything bro Like, you're one of those villains alongside the producers, bruh. Merda, you're the one to talk. Best shut up so you can get out with all your teeth. Facts, Geo. I don't think anyone was ever forced to do anything. Just a very strong incentives. Yeah, there's certain stuff that we were forced to do, bruh. Come on. <sighs> I hate to say this, but Isaac is right. Huh? How come? Not everything was done with the fear of blackmail or being at the bottom. Well, yeah. You, well, uh, the, I don't even know what to say, bro. Yeah, there is some. There is still some occasions where we had to do it, though. We had no rules, but we could have played fair for mutual respect. Yeah, but... Yeah, but there's some people that don't play fair, unfortunately. It's true. Most of the time, we let our own imagination be our enemy. Overthinking, overanalyzing. That brings us to this last cycle. It was anything but fair. Can't agree more. But certainly a lot to handle. I spent most of my time locked out of my room. Or completely humiliated. Oh, Black Black. I had to avoid death. Isu, you totally did it to yourself. For real. <laughs> Manual labor, if you catch my drift. It's safe to say that things got to extremes. Ami so regrets making the beauty cream of doom. <laughs> beauty is pain, right? No. Nope. Uh, maybe. Suffice to say, I hope you all see a pattern here. Mm -hmm. And it only got worse with Lumi around. Not that it is your fault, kiddo. Just a difficult situation. Yeah, shit's been getting real difficult around here. In his island in general, bro. I am aware I am the apple of discord. Any move. We've done this before. We can do it again. Justice is a unisex. Something I can stand behind. <laughs> like, I couldn't agree more. A time to bring the bitch down and serve it ice cold. Yeah, use them cops as a camel. A, a bit too much. I'll play her quickly before they kill Listen, her. Lumi's one of the key pieces in this whole game. Lumi was played by her. It was her little puppet, and you can all see it. But Dan is right. It's been done before, so we'll do it again. There's no doubt that the culprit must take responsibility for her actions. Yeah, like, take down Naomi, bro. Like... Because remember, Naomi got added in in place, in place of Lumi, bro. So she's definitely the one that that should be going into into the bottom too, bro. Cast her into the pit and let her burn. 
Yeah, Naomi. Get ready to see get ready to see what's coming to you, girl. Sonny thinks this is why everyone should vote. NGL, you have a good message there. <laughs> then it's decided. Mia will be at the bottom. Hold on, hold on, hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. What, bro? What the fuck, bro? I thought you was gonna say Naomi was should be in the bottom. This is what I was worried about, bro. Bro, like, why? Why would you say Mia, bro? Like, you should have seen it clearer. You should have seen that Naomi was the one that be ruining shit, bro. What? Yeah, like, she got pissed off at you, bruh. Like, what the hell, bruh? Like, you had every single chance to redeem yourself, bruh. She probably cursing your ass out in German, too, bruh. Ugh, Jesus. Gross. For real. Like, what the hell, bruh? I'm really, really sorry, Yumi. I know this must be very hard for you. Bro, like, it's not Mia that's, that's been causing all this sh shit to happen. Nah, it's the producers that be causing this shit to happen, bro. Like, it should have been an easy W for you, Harrison. But if you would have saved Naomi, bro. But nah, you fucked it up. And now you're about to take another L, bruh. Because of this, bruh. Have I not warned you before, Harrison? Remember who your enemy is! Yeah, even Val warned you of who your true enemy is. Like. But, and yeah, she even gave you advice of who your true enemy is. Like. Like, what the hell, bro? Like, what is wrong with you, bro? Did you wake up on the... Did you wake up on the wrong side? Did you w sleep the wrong way last night, Harrison? Like... Uh, dude? What? Is everything okay with you? Like, I feel like he's gone insane, bruh. I feel like Harrison's gone insane, bruh. Like, yeah, even Don be like, uh, you're right, bruh? Like, is there anything wrong with you type shit, bruh? That bagel jump on your head or something? Yeah, and they all be wondering what the hell wrong with you, bruh. Like, Mia's not the one who's been causing all this. Like, they be like, what the hell, bruh? Like, yeah, that would only that would have been my reaction too, bro. I would have been like, "What the hell, Harrison? Did somebody hit you in the head? Did a did a boulder hit your head or something like? Or did you get like amnesia or something like? Okay, okay, not amnesia because if he would have had if he would have had amnesia, then he would have not known any of these people, bro. Like. Did you have, did you have CTE, bro? Like, bro, like, you had your chance to reveal the true culprit, and you fumbled the ball, and you fumbled the ball big time with this one, bro. Like, you missed the game-winning touchdown. Like, you missed the game-winning field goal, bro. I could go all day of how much he missed, bro. Like you missed, you miss you you missed the game-winning shot with this one. Like, why does everyone look so confused? Uh, duh, because you said Mia was the culprit. That's why they're so confused, bro. Like, what the hell, bro? 
Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Fucking hell, bruh. Matter of fact, I'll let you... I'll continue this next episode, bruh. I know there's silence in the air right now, but... Damn! You really fucked up big time, Harrison, bruh. You had a chance, a chance to redeem yourself, bruh. You had a chance to redeem yourself. You had a chance to patch up things with everyone, bruh. And you fucked it up with with saying that Mia B is the... With, with you saying that Mia is the culprit. Like, I'm gonna show you that one wrong move could fuck things up for you big time, bruh. Hell, not only with your actions, but also with your words, too, bro. And over here, with him saying that Mia is the culprit, or Mia being at the bottom, that really fucked his chances up, bro. Like, like, just say that you misunder that you misspoke, bro. Like. Just say that you're sorry. Like, just say that you misspoke, bro. Like, like the only way I would, the only way I would, the only way I would forgive you is if you said that you misspoke and that you apologized, everyone, bro. Hi, hi. Anyways, uh, see next episode. We're gonna see what happens next, bro. See you guys next time. Fire TV. Sign off.